It is an Israeli-designed, American-funded breakthrough in military technology. All just possibly a kind of optical illusion. Iron Dome is a missile defense system credited by Israel with destroying nearly 90% of the rockets fired at it during the last conflict with Palestinian militants in Gaza. One, two. Not everyone's convinced. Three. Because the incoming rockets are invisible now to the then. naked eye, a handful of skeptics now say that what three. we're witnessing Simple may simply be the Iron Dome missiles themselves the self-destructing the without Dome. hitting anything. I don't know exactly what happened. But I raise the question marks, and I, do, I, I would like to have an answer. I asked the IDF, show me your uh, videos, your infrared videos, in which you can see almost everything. But they said it's classified. Israel's enemies get the importance of the system. This internet video claiming responsibility for a recent attack on the Israeli city of Elat ended with a taunting message that Iron Dome didn't stop it. The truth is, though, not many Israelis are listening to those voices of doubt. Take these Iron Dome batteries deployed just outside a large city in the south of the country. Most Israelis just think they work and think they're making the country safer and stronger. With a wave of its innovative wand, Raphael has developed a first-of-its-kind counter-rocket artillery mortar CRAM system. There is a lot at stake here. The safety of Israeli civilians, of course, but lucrative export markets too, if the manufacturer's claims can be proved. Israeli rocket scientists say there is no serious doubt. You can't fool all the people all the time. This is not the first time Iron Dome is working. It's, it's the sixth or the seventh route already. And every time that it's working, losses go down, damage go down, and it's obvious for everyone to see. These Iron Dome missiles, filmed by a wedding photographer, were aimed at rockets fired from Gaza. Israelis believe Iron Dome can protect them from other enemies too. In uncertain times across the Middle East, they hope that seeing is believing. Kevin Connolly, BBC News, Jerusalem.